I'm Patrick Bailey with whiteboardcoder.com. Today is October 11th, 2017, and in this video I'll be doing a review of the VizPro Magnetic Dry Erase Board. Uh, really just a quick, quickly going over a few of the key points. Is it functional and how well do magnets work on it? Uh, but there is another part of this video. How do they handle returns? Uh, the first whiteboard that was sent to me was actually damaged. And so I had to take some pictures of it and send some emails back and forth and go through the whole process to get it replaced. So the next part, the second half of this video is going to be uh, what I did to go through that process and what the results were. Okay, so I got the whiteboard is up and it whiteboards. So as far as quality goes, just it, I got one downstairs too. I've had it for about a month. It's just a, it's just a good whiteboard. Um, no issues with it so far as about quality. Now with this, it has. Uh, four holes and screws to screw into the wall. So in my case, I built some backing to this, but screwed in the wall. Also, it has some covers for this, which I'm not using, but it has little covers after you screw it in, you actually can cover it up. And that works fine. Also, it came with a tray, which I don't have it here with me right now, but I'm not using it anyway. They have a little tray that can snap on here. And, you know, the little tray that comes with about that big, it's okay, but I built a, a big one. Uh, but the, the main thing you're going to be probably care about is how magnety is it? How much, how well is it magnetized? So what I did, I took some, probably the weakest magnets I have, just some letters and they hold just fine. Not a problem. And then just some little other silly magnets. Then I have these stronger magnets and I want to show how well they can hold up. So here I've got, this is about 15 pages. And if I try to do it with one strong magnet with a little guy, it's going to go down. But about three, it'll hold 15 magnets, 15 pieces of paper, sorry. If I just have one piece of paper, you know, no problem. It might even hold with these weak magnets. Yeah, just barely. Um, you know, if I get about five pieces of paper, Strong magnet holds just fine, just a little tiny one. So, but a weak magnet, you know, that's not enough. So, for my needs, this board has been pretty good. So, magnet's about the level I would like it to, where I would like a little weak magnet to at least attach. And my stronger magnets, I would like to actually hold, hold some pieces of paper. That seems to work just fine. So, I like the board. It's great. It's working fine for what I need for a magnetic whiteboard. Now, the rest of this video is going to be uh, showing the return policy, because the original board they sent me was damaged, and I videotaped all of that, and how I got it replaced. So, the rest of this video is going to be going over that, but as far as review, good whiteboard, I like it, magnety enough, life is good. See that looks like about that much, a little bit of a dip. Uh, okay, I like to get tweaked. That seems kind of minor to me though. It's only a little bit. The rest of it. Did they include that? We care about what you think, paper. I would think so. The last one did. Okay, first the good. I actually did find little note in here. So that was in the box saying, hey, send us an email if you have any problems. So I'm going to go send an email because I have a problem. In fact, I got two. Uh, first, in the diagram, we do have this little fastener that goes on top. It's a little different from the other one that I have downstairs, but still, I want it and they don't have it. Uh, so that's missing from the box for some reason. I don't know why. It's just a tool that you can kind of slide in the top. It's kind of nice. But then also, after I pulled this out and started fiddling with it, I noticed that I've got two problems. It's kind of uh, heaped up, and it's, it's kind of like it's gotten squished. There's like a little crease, and I drew a pin mark just to emphasize. There's like a little tiny one here. There's one here that goes all the way up, 
There's one here that goes all the way down. And so that's where it's at. But if I erase it, and you get the right angle, you probably won't see much of anything. So I've had to, if I fiddle with this angle enough, I found usually if you go on the top down, you might be able to get it with the sunshine. It's hard to see. Oh, there you go. So you can see those two creases. It is really hard to see, but you can see there's the two creases. Now, in, when you're in front of it in real life, you can see the creases. But it's really hard to capture on film. Yeah, you can see those lines right there. You probably have to highlight them even then. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take some pictures of this and email them and see what their response is going to be and whether or not they're going to fix this and send me a new one. Okay, now I'm trying a different thing. So my wife suggested that I draw some lines above and below it so you can better see it. So those lines are outside the mark, and you can see it's still hard to see, but you can see a little bump. It's just hard to show, but it's it's got this little crease in there. Okay, I think I found a way to get a better view of it. Let's see if we can if this will work. So I got all the lights off, and I got a lights on the side here. And so it's just sitting here. And with that, I can now see the damage. So hopefully that's showing up. There's no pen marks, it's all a raise. And you can see, I've got this guy down here, it's creased. And it kind of V's off. And we've got this guy going there, see? And then over here, we got this one. Just going all the way up. It's probably a good view of it, so that's what it is. It's all creased. Okay, so I sent them an email off, and this is kind of what this is what I got back. So I guess that wasn't all that useful because I'm in the U.S. So uh, it's nice of them to put it in there. Basically, they give, they just give me information. Go over and talk to Amazon. So that's what I'm going to do. But this, because it was bigger, it did not ship through Amazon Prime. So it may have. I don't know if Amazon shipped it or if it actually went through them. So. I'm just going to go through the process here and see what I can do. So let me go over to Amazon and I, go, I already found my order. And so I need to return or replace because uh, I like the board, but it's kind of tweaked. Product damage, but shipping box. Okay. Let's see, can I add images? Um, has two creases creases over the entire uh, um, either from can I have pictures? We aren't able to offer products or transactions. Okay, so I'll just do that. Continue and see what I can see what I can get out of these guys. Um, what is the process? Train Viz Pro, but Jimmy Box and Trimba will process Trimba Pro will process your refund. Estimated refund two or three business days after they receive the item. I am not shipping this at my cost. Let's see what happens. Okay, use any shipping service that is convenient to you or can they return with your seller. Printer, requi printer required, print the label anytime from your order. We'll also mail it to you. Send the item back to us by October 6th. Okay, let me just hit submit and see what they do because um, I guess I'm gonna go to the next process and go to them back and forth. Print a label. Okay. 
Let's see what they do. I just have a label to print. Okay, let me go print this and look at it. But I may have to contact them back and forth because this is a big box and it's going to cost me on an individual basis more to ship than it was to buy it. And that's kind of a bummer. Uh, and I'm not going to do that. But we'll see what their policy is, uh, what they're going to honor and what they're going to do. So we'll, I'll get this and see what the next thing to do is. Okay, now that I've read this more, I think I think I got it. So here I'm going to print label instructions. I already printed it, but I think they want you to do, just cancel this. I think what they want you to do, they put some of their own instructions because they don't really want to, they want to do a little bit better than what the typical so Amazon return policy is for this, I guess, because it looks like they shipped this. So here you go. Dear customer, the next step, please disregard the unpaid return label sent from Amazon automatic system. Please contact the seller immediately after you receive this return authorization confirmation. You got, you got our attention. You got us attention. It fixed that. Uh, and your refund or free replacement is on its way. So good so far. Simply click, click contact seller button, email us, and attach photos to show the damaged item or parts you received in JPEG format in small, medium size, no large photos. Okay. In most cases, we do not request returns if the, if the item is badly damaged. We will direct, directly issue a refund or a free replacement. Perfect. Makes sense for this big, giant thing. I don't mind sending something back. You know, if something's damaged and expensive and they want to ship it back and they want to look at it, fine. But in this case, this is so big that to ship it at my cost is going to be crazy. Um, I'm not going to do it. But uh, let's contact the seller. So I'm going to go down here and click Contact Seller. And an order I placed. So there we go. It's not helping me. Return items. Okay. Okay. Let me go look at these instructions again because I'm sure the buttons have changed and their instructions aren't quite right. I think I, okay. I think I might have figured it out. Okay. So I'm going to print the instructions, but I'll cancel this. And then go down to contact the seller and go down here and say damage or defective item and then write a message because hopefully they got the information just right, right? Uh, the whiteboard has creases. And let's see the images. Okay, so we'll just attach images. Choose files. So I've got those. Let me see how big they are. And about a meg, so that's not too bad. I guess I'll do them one at a time, huh? Okay, one at a time. There's one. You want to send too big of files because, you know, at most five megs, no more than 10 megs. You know, you don't want to send them a video unless they ask. Uh, so let's see what they do. What I'm hoping they'll do is they'll review it. They'll go, yeah, the board stinks. Um, and we'll send me a new one. And I really hope that they update the packaging because the packaging on the one that I have in the basement, which is a smaller one, was more robust packaging than this one. And that may be what caused the damage. Um, cause I would rather get something undamaged the first time than have to go back and forth. Even if they honor this, I hope they do that. I hope they do a great job. I hope they replace it. And that shows that they're a great company. I hope, but I'd rather them just upgrade the packaging, which they may have. Maybe I got one that hasn't been upgraded at this size. Cause the one downstairs, it was a little bit, it was beefier. Let's see. Let me go send this email. message sent. Okay, so we'll give them a few days and we'll see what they say. Okay, so I just want to go through the series of emails that went back and forth with Amazon and with uh, Trumba Pro, the guys who do the VizRoast, VizPro whiteboard. So of course, after I submitted that one email, um, that one thing on, on Amazon.com, I just got the generic, hey, we received your email, it's been forwarded on. So I got this email. Then I started getting some emails from Trumba and I have a little series that went through here. And so let's start at the very top. And so they say, thank you for providing your photo proof. We reviewed the damaging part on the item and filed the claim of your case. We apologize for the inconvenience. 
and we'd like to offer you the below options to help solve your case. And this is exactly what I wanted. They said option one, they could do a full refund to your account upon your request and no need to return the damaged item. You may keep it or dispose of it, whatever you want to do. And number two, uh, they'll give you a free replacement and no need to return the damaged item. So that's exactly what I want was number two. And so I sent them an email back. Let's see if we can go down this thread. Uh, anyway, I said, oh yeah, that's what I want. Uh, upon okay, dear customer, upon your on your request and confirmation, we have arranged free replacement for your item for you. It will be processed through the Amazon system within 24 hours, and no need to you know to send us back the item. And if you're satisfied, you know, give us a good report, it's a good rating. Uh, and after that, I didn't notice anything on Amazon. Uh, so I end up uh, a few days later, I end up say. I think there was supposed to, something supposed to show up on Amazon with the tracking, but since this was an unusual thing, it wasn't actually going through Amazon per se. It was kind of going around Amazon, I think. I didn't see anything. I never saw anything show up on Amazon saying, oh, yeah, it's been shipped, and here's your order. And so a few days later, I said, hey, um, I know you've shipped it. Is, is there a tracking number? And so they said, yes, here's a tracking number. And by the time I asked the tracking number, it turns out it was going to actually arrive that day. So, and also they actually shipped it really quickly. I forgot what it was, but it was just a, they, they, um, on the bigger whiteboards, they are not two day shipping because they're just bigger. Uh, but in this case, they shipped it a little bit more priority. It only took two or three days to get here. So, um, that's the email chain. And after that, I got my whiteboard, which is behind me now. And so they kind of fulfilled, you know, it'd have been nice to not get damaged in the first place, but having been damaged, um, that was the process. Put that in there. Uh, they reviewed it, immediately approved it, and sent out the new one. They sent out the new one a little bit faster shipping. And uh, the only thing they didn't do is because I think they might have assumed Amazon was going to do it, and I didn't notice anywhere on Amazon. They didn't send me the tracking number. So had they sent me the tracking number, I wouldn't have had to ask for it. But the minute I asked for it, they provided it. So overall, um, I'll give them an A plus on solving the problem. Okay, so I've got the new box. So they just came in today, so they actually shipped it a little faster rather than the first one was slow loaded, which I I asked for, I guess. That's all they had. I didn't spend for more shipping, but this one they ship pretty fast. So it's here, it's Thursday, and it's here. And the box looks fine, and the box seems kind of like the old box. I don't know if they packaging is probably still packaged, same packaging, but we'll see if this one's okay. Let's cut into it. And we got the similar edges. I don't think it's any thicker or different than the last one. But proof, proof is in the food. Looks the same as this last box, no difference that I can tell. Oh, pieces. Hmm. Anyway, okay, so. That's where that's supposed to be last time it fell out, but there's a little note saying, call us to complain. Yeah, it's coded.
Okay. Let me see. Hi. Let me get all the angles on it. I do not see any problems. I don't. Okay, so I'm a little bummed that the first one was broken, but hey, stuff happens, right? But for their policy, they got, once I notified them and sent the pictures, they responded exactly what I wanted them to do. They got it, they, uh, uh, they said I did not have to ship the old one back. In fact, I have the old one up on the wall right now. Um, and they took a new one out, and then for the old one, that I could do what I wanted with it. I could throw it away, give it away, whatever I wanted to do. Um, they don't want it back. So that's perfect, because I don't want to bother shipping this giant thing back, which would be a pain in the neck. Um, so good, you know, I'll give them a four and a half stars out of all that, because I, you know, it's nice to get it perfect the first time, but it's really nice to see a company that when they screw up is gonna take care of you, and they got this back out, and they didn't slow boat it, and they didn't jerk me around. They did exactly what companies should do, so. I'm pretty happy now. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a like. To subscribe, just click the subscribe button. Also, you can follow me on Twitter under the handle at whiteboardcoder.com. View any code I may have thrown up as a gist uh, at GitHub under the username Patman Denver, or check out my blog site at whiteboardcoder.com.